It's just outside. Um, so I cut off, guys. We're gonna um continue with John. My boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Feels good to be John. That's what I was trying to say before it cut off like a little shit. Wait, do I get back on the wagon? Wait, I don't. They gonna load that shit up. Oh snap! John got that dope. He got a more cooler jar now. I see how it is. Okay. Mister. All right. Look out. Uh, you could watch out. That's what you could do. You went my way clearly. Fucking bastard. We gonna get revenge for the homie also. He didn't have to shoot him in the head. Fuck you, Michael, you piece of shit. But I guess can't see about revenge, yeah. So after we do what we gotta do, I mean, I shouldn't have to kill nobody yet. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. Let's do it. We go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now we gotta go to the wagon. I got that new drag speed. Good. 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 Alright, slow. Happens to be the best wagon tour. So eat a dick, motherfucker. West past Owen Kila, then follow the road north. Okay. Yes. Dang, how far is this farm? I think I've been there before. It was probably it was online or some shit.
<sighs> That's fucked up the way Michael. Fuck you, Michael. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. Hmm. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Yeah. Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, yeah. even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. Oh, <laughs> no. Lord. That ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <sighs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Fucking bastard. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> really? You come back here, bro. I'll take it. Get off the wagon. Got no gun, so I couldn't shoot them off even though I wanted to. Getting out of that wagon one way or another. Whoa, whoa. All you had to do was ask. That's what I thought. Problem, These fat boys man. Are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work, we'll work. I can do anything. We got we got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got That's married hard. hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts. She'll work. Some kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from hey, brother, no trouble. he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. Bill. We work. Even or was life. Bob. What does Mr. Geddes need? Yeah, with John's brother's name you. was Bob. Just or Bill. I think well, it I was Bill. Myself, okay, you know that already. Yeah, makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. I need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. Uh, we'll never regret bro. this. Yep. We'll get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. All right. Hmm. It's 
revenge time. Alright, we're gonna start right there for the homie John. I really don't know one person who never played Red Dead 1, but if you didn't, you need to. Because basically, John, he has quite a story, just like Arthur did. Well, that's before he died. Um, I didn't think I would get shot in the head, but Michael's gonna pay for that regardless. So, yeah, whole live streaming idea just went down the drain. I'm just doing it. I mean, I was thinking about it, then I was like, you know, forget it. I'm just gonna just do it as a video. So. Next time we do this, we're going to find Micah and we're going to kill him. I know we are going to somehow find him again. I know that for a fact. So, guys, for now, this is it for Red Dead for right now. Next time you see me, I'm going to be getting revenge for the homie Arthur. So, basically, in some words, instead of us calling it, you know, story parts now, this is basically epilogue. So really, John is about to get revenge. So this is about, it's going to be called John's Revenge Part 1, Part 2. I think Part 2 will be the ending, though. So just be on the lookout for that. I hope y'all enjoyed Arthur's story. That is before he had the tuberculosis, but I blame Thomas Downs. If, if... <laughs> He was already sick. I knew that from the moment when we first met him. But I'm just telling y'all, if we never met Thomas Downs, I'm telling you, there was no way we would have got sick and Arthur would have probably lived longer. He would have at least grown old. He would have gray hair. He didn't even have gray hair. That's the thing. Like, what the fuck? Fucking Michael, you gonna ride in hell once I kill your dumb ass, you fucking subhuman bitch coming for you asshole me and John gonna fuck you up so alright guys next time we will end Micah definitely peace for now